Well, for more on this now, I'm joined by Yang He Lee from Seoul. She is the UN Special Rapporteur on Myanmar. Thank you so much for joining us. You have been trying to assess the human rights situation in Myanmar. Do you feel you now have a clear enough picture of what's actually happening in Rakhine State, or have you been actively prevented uh, from getting the information you need there? Well, um, I've been pretty much accurate, and I've been uh, uh, sure what is what, what was happening even uh, a few uh, months ago. But this time, uh, the the scale and the magnitude of what's happening is really horrific. Tell us more about that. What exactly have you have you seen that's outraged you? Well, within the past two weeks, now we're seeing about 150,000 people fleeing uh, Myanmar, especially Rakhine State. Of course, it all started with October 25th attacks by the militant extremists, which now the government has identified as ARSA, uh, when they attacked uh, police posts. But the, the kind of uh, retaliation, the kind of response carried out by the military goes far beyond uh, what is proportional to what had happened earlier to, uh, of course, every kind of, and any country will have to address violent attacks into, onto their civilian population or onto their military or security posts. But you've, now, you've, the, you've... Go ahead. Uh, now we're seeing this is two, for between two weeks, 150,000. Well, similar thing happened in October, where it took about two months for about 70,000 people to flee from Myanmar. Now, if you add these two uh, incidents together and the uh, the number of people who are fleeing from Rakhine State, it's clearly over 200. Thousand, which is about one fifth of the Rohingya population in Myanmar. Okay, you've also said that the new government uh, has continued the policies of the old, but I'm asking you, how much control do you think this new government actually has over this crisis? The military is effectively the one that's in charge here, correct? Yes. Whenever there is a. Uh, um, uh, national security uh, issues, according to their constitution, 2008 constitution, the military, it's all in the hands of the military. Well, that, um, I think this new government has to really step up, and Aung San Suu Kyi has to show her leadership to prevent uh, further violence, further um, killing of innocent population and further uh, attacking and burning innocent villages. But wh while you say that, she has asked very clearly for patience, really, because she's saying that this conflict is decades, if not centuries old, and the international community is asking her government of just 18 months to completely resolve it. What can you realistically expect? Well, we... we we don't expect her to resolve the the problems in overnight. Of course, she uh, she had uh, appointed the Kofi Annan Commission, and Kofi Annan's commission came up with very um, good recommendations, uh, ambitious recommendations, and if the government uh, abides by them, and I think she can start uh, working on. Uh, on resolving the issues uh, of the Rakhine State. Rakhine State is one of the most poorest states in Rakhine. The ethnic Rakhine community is also very much disenfranchised for, uh, from the uh, Central Union government. Yes. But this does not give you a reason for not stepping in and, and stopping additional violence uh, happening. And I and I reiterate what I've been saying is the cycle of violence must be stopped immediately. One additional death of civilian population is one just too many. Okay. Is your ultimate fear then that this is ethnic cleansing or even worse, genocide? Well, um, it would be very uh, difficult for us to uh, come to that conclusion now. Uh, we shouldn't be too hasty, 
but I think we we are uh, likely the the risk is very high now. It's becoming more evident because of through the years of systematic discrimination against the Rohingya population uh, through law, policy, and in practice. And now with this disproportionate. Uh, uh, retaliations or attacks in the name of security clearance operations. Okay, Yang He Lee, we will leave it there. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us from Seoul.